Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Leadnap Gaming. Today we're talking about bombing with the M71 general purpose bomb and the AJS-37 Vigan for DCS World. Now this tutorial is going to operate differently than my other tutorials typically do and that has a lot to do with the fact that there are eight different ways to release bombs in the Vigan. And based on community feedback, I've decided to break this down into what arguably is four tutorials, but really three tutorials that explain how to do the releases. And these releases are based on the three primary modes of release. And I think as you guys go through the tutorial, you'll understand why I put them together like this. The thing is, is that, for example, precision release and quick release are very similar to each other. Uh, all of the radar releases are essentially very similar to each other and the same is true of plan. So by community feedback, it was asked that I put them out individually so you guys could practice them kind of from a single tutorial and have a tutorial and level release and then be able to do that and then go to the next one. Well, the idea behind it this way is, is what you're going to see is, is the symbology, the methodology in each of these three modes is generally the same. And so once you understand its three modes, it becomes a lot easier to kind of package in your brain and say, okay, I know how to do all the different bomb delivery types. An important note here that if you don't have annotations on on YouTube, go ahead and turn them on as the tutorials, once all of them are available, I will come back through and put annotations in. And so you'll be able to just click the links here uh, to get to the different parts of, of the tutorial. Additionally, just as a note, I also always, any corrections I ever need to make, I will do in annotation format. So it's always a good thing to leave those on. So let's go ahead and talk about the M71 general purpose bomb, as this is the kind of bedrock uh, foundational tutorial. The Sprang Bomb, and I'm sure I mispronounced that, M71 is a 120 kilogram general purpose dumb bomb. It's not guided by anything but you. They're mounted in groups of four to a launching pylon, which the Vigan can carry four different pylons for a total of 16 bombs. It's a 30 kilogram Composition B warhead. It can be fitted with either an airburst or an instantaneous fuse. Unfortunately, the airburst fuse is not modeled in DCS, which is really unfortunate and it can be equipped with a parachute to retard its fall for high drag. Uh, for the layman out there, all that simply means is that we can put a parachute on it so that we can fly much lower than conventional aircraft can to drop the bombs and clear the fragmentation zone before it's filled with fragments. An additional note here that just makes the Vigan again kind of different from conventional aircraft, but if it, by this point, if you've been doing the Vigan for a while, it's not a surprise by any means. Uh, the Vigan is designed to release all its bombs, up to six, all 16 of them, at once. It's not a uh, sortie type flight where you're going to drop three now and two then and another five later. It's a all or nothing approach, much like the rockets. As mentioned before, there are three release modes through the CK-37 and then there's submodes inside of each. These modes determine release characteristics, sighting, and HUD display. Each mode is designed around a specific mission profile that offers options for utility of submodes. The easy way to understand this is, is that each of these modes is designed around a certain type of mission and type of attack profile. And then generally there's a submode that you'd be in NAV for and a submode that you'd be in ANF for. And occasionally there's an extra one thrown in there as well. Kind of working backwards here, the first one we're going to talk about is Bomb RR, which is a non-visual bombing approach. It primarily uses the radar system as a site, and it utilizes built-in navigational data on the CK-37. There's three sub-modes, Radar Release, which uses radar, Nav Release, which uses INS, and the TOS, which is a variation of NAV to allow standoff, and I, you're going to see it plenty when we cover it, but not very accurate. Next up is Bomb Plan. It's a conventional bombing arrangement. If you think about World War II bombers, you get the picture. It provides aiming cues on the HUD and allows the pilot to determine the release value. What that means is, is that you're going to see targeting information in your HUD and the pilot, you, will determine when to release the munitions. There's three sub-modes, but only two are actually generally 
applicable to DCS. There is level release, direct release, and CCIP, which is continuously computed impact point, and that does require the high drag M71. Last on our list is Bomb DYK, which is an accuracy mode more commonly thought of and referred to as dive bombing. Uh, it's measured primarily against a target waypoint. The CK-37 will actually determine release. You are, for the most part, putting yourself and the aircraft into the proper profile to hit the target correctly. Uh, there's two submodes for DYK, precision release and quick release. It's often mistaken here that there's a third dive submode. Um, in fact, some documentation will even tell you that there's a dive mode, a precision mode, and a quick release mode. But as you'll see when we cover this, precision release and quick release are both dive bombing approaches. So there's not a individual and unique dive bombing approach. This chart, which can be found in the manual from Heat Blur, uh, best probably describes everything I just explained in a, a chart that really helps you wrap your head around it. So you can see there's three modes, and then inside of each, you basically have a breakout between ANF and NAV. So the master mode plus whatever the weapon selector switch is gives you the mode you're going after. A quick final note here, command altitude. So in a lot of the literature and throughout this tutorial, we're going to you're going to constantly refer to command altitude. Uh, this is a predefined release safety altitude and it's set by the crew chief during loading. So it's really important to understand this setting has to be changed in the mission editor. Once the mission is going, you cannot change the command altitude. It's defined simply as low, medium, and high. Uh, the values I presented here are based on experience and testing, and there's nothing in the literature that tells you what they are, but if you fly to command altitude in, in the mission, you're gonna see low is 200 meters, medium is 400 meters, and high is 600 meters. The CK-37 determines the bomb trajectory based on the release on the commanded altitude in certain modes, and thus it's recommended to fly at or just above these altitudes. It is important to understand you can fly under the command altitude and the system will not release. You'll actually get the red warning light telling you that there's a problem in the release envelope. You can fly above the command altitude however high you want, but it's important to understand that the calculations are based on the command altitude. So if you're flying at a thousand feet to release it to, or sorry, if you're flying at a thousand meters, right, and your safety altitude is 200 meters, your bombs are probably not going to land anywhere remotely near what you were trying to hit. All right, so again, here are the links to the other three actual release tutorials for this bombing tutorial. Uh, once they are all out, I will come back in and put the annotations in here. So if you are watching this as this is all coming out, it's not going to be in here. Don't freak out. Again, it'll be down in the description below. I'll put the links in so that you're always able to get to all of them. But the idea is that this tutorial acts as kind of a backbone for you to always come back to to be able to reference to get to any of the others. Uh, please do hit subscribe down below, guys, and uh, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. Uh, like I said, I, I know some people will say, well, why couldn't we just put it all into one? Uh, but based on feedback from you guys, my subscribers, this is the mode we're going with. Uh, Hopefully it works out really well for you guys, and I will catch you guys after the next one.